everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the latest release from Jackie O's. This right here is their Hop Riot. This is a rye IPA, and this is super, super fresh. This just came out literally a couple of days ago. They even have a date on the side of the can, which is very nice, so very, very excited to try this. All of Jackie O's beer, except for their limited release brewery only stuff like their Imperial style, it's barley wine, sours, etc. Those are all bottles and they're sold exclusively at the brew pub in Athens, Ohio as of now. But all the rest of the beer that they actually distribute to the rest of Ohio comes in cans, which I really, really like. I've had most of their stuff and it's all very, very tasty. And that artwork, like I, I love the way that these cans look. Awesome stuff, but Rye IPAs tend to be hit or miss with me, so let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Yeah, so right away I'm getting some nice citrusy hop notes, I'm getting some grapefruit, a little bit of orange peel in there, a very tiny amount of some floral and slightly piney hop notes. Definitely smelling a little bit of bready biscuit malt, there's a definite rye spiciness. But it's not too intense. It kind of blends in with, with, with the rest of the malt bill. And it's not hiding the hops because that's the problem I have. Sometimes the rye is just too forward. But it actually has a nice balance between the rye, the maltiness, and the hoppiness as well. Yeah, smells pretty good. So let's go ahead and take our first sip. Yep. Right away, you're hit with a blast of citrusy hops right up front. It's a nice grapefruit, some orange peel. A little bit of floral notes, not too much, but they're definitely in there. Definitely getting a little bit of some earthy, piney hop notes as well. And then that fades into the bready, biscuity type of malt backbone, as well as the rye spiciness, but it's really more on the back end, it kind of leaves you with this lingering spicy note on your tongue, and it's not overwhelming. A lot of rye beers, like I've said, are just overwhelmingly over the top rye, and this one really kind of just balances between the hoppy notes and the malty and rye notes, so that's really nice, and this is super easy to drink, very refreshing. If it was a little bit lower in alcohol, it would be a great session beer. I mean, six and a half is not particularly strong, but after a couple of these, you'd definitely be feeling it. So, a lighter side of medium for a body. has a very crisp, clean mouthfeel. It's got a decent level of carbonation without being too bubbly. Definitely not flat. And it has very nice bitterness that really dries out the palate on the back end. just makes you want to keep coming back for more of this, but... This is very nice. It's not going to blow you away, though. It kind of tastes like a very good but average, what you expect from an IPA, with a little bit of rye spiciness in there. Again, though, like I said, that's kind of one of the things I like about it. It's not too rye forward. So, as far as the rating goes, guys, I'm going with an 8.6 out of 10. This is really enjoyable, and if you like a little bit of rye character in your beer, I think this is one to try, especially if you don't like it to the point. Something like Rye of the Tiger from Great Lakes, too much rye, not enough hops. This finds a very nice balance, so if you guys can get it, I highly suggest checking it out. Alright, so for my musical recommendation, I want you guys to check out a group by the name of Arch Enemy and their 2011 record, Chaos Legions. You know, I figure there's going to be a riot and there's going to be some crazy shit going on. You want to listen to some heavy ass music. They're kind of thrash metal, kind of death metal, kind of mellow death. They have a lead singer that, despite sounding like one of the most ferocious guys out there, is in fact a female. You guys have to listen to the band just to listen to this girl scream. It is unreal. But yeah, very cool stuff. If you like metal, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, guys, that does it for this beer review. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.